our channel, Exploring It All. I'm Rackers Girl. Join me and my dad where we explore everything. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Thank you for watching. Well, thank you for that amazing introduction, Miraculous Girl, and thank you everyone for joining us again here on Exploring It All. So today we're going to be looking at a petrified fish. I haven't looked at any of these in, in quite a while. Um, and I'm going to try and do a proper knife review and give you some good information as well as just share this knife with you all. So this knife is the petrified fish, what is the number on this one, uh, 818? And I ordered this on Amazon. It ran a total of $28.99 free shipping and California taxed me on it because that's what they do. All right, so we're gonna take this out of the box here. Gotta cut this. I'm gonna be using my buck. This is a buck uh, 251 flipper here um, that my dad gave to me. So, and you know, I was making some notes because I said I was going to do a proper review here and I'm using this in crisis pen and I just want to remind people about mental health for law enforcement and our veterans and people like that involved. Uh, there's a lot of uh, people that keep stuff pent up inside. If you're having problems, if you're having struggles, there's a lot of organizations out there, not just this in crisis one for CDCR, but for the veterans and the Till Valhalla Project and, and all of those groups, just there are people that you can read at, reach out to if you're struggling with any kind of uh, demons that you may have. I've lost too many partners to that. Anyway, back to the knife review. All right, so we have the petrified fish and pop this open and, oh, cool. All right, so there's a sticker in here. I've never gotten a sticker from them and I have stickers on the mat and this one will be added to that. I guess this is the way it goes. It's got a petrified fish on there. It even has the logo on the back. I wonder if it's a two-sided sticker. That would be cool. All right, so if it is, it's going on my car window, not my mat. I'm gonna take it out. Don't eat this. We get a micro cleaning cloth. This one is blue. I could have used that here. So we get a little Micro cleaning cloth. That's pretty nice. It's got their logo on it. I like that. They always add something in the box. It's never, and it's never the same thing. And if you guys didn't see, there's the logo right there in the bottom. So as I said, and it's funny because this model is very similar to that buck that I just had, all this a little bit more. Now this is purple. So it's, it's got the, the G10 handles. They had a big write-up in the Amazon thing about how the G10 is, it won't absorb water and the, ham, the handles material won't damage from the water. Uh, it is, it, it's, it's kind of edged down and it's supposed to add comfort to holding it here. It's, it's kind of curved down. They said it's supposed to add to the comfort of it. You got the material in here with jimping in there. You got a pocket clip. The clip is not reversible. It has David Chen, the designer of this particular knife. You got the petrified fish logo in here and the model number is usually on here. Oh no, that's D2 on this side. There it is. Right here is the model number 818 on the end of the flipper tab there. And on this side you have D2. It's D2 steel. Now, it's D2 steel and it is to a Rockwell hardness of 60 HRC. So it's 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 kind of a uh, it's going to hold the edge a little bit on that D2, but then again, it makes it a little harder to sharpen. Uh, the blade material it says it's a satin finish, but let's flip it open and, and take a look, and then we'll go over the dimensions and stuff. So it flipped real good. You have two angles on it, and I'm going to wipe it down. Because it has some little stuff on there, which is weird because this hasn't been opened. So you got, I like the angling that they do on their knives. You have kind of a, a drop point blade there. Swoops up and down. Now, 
The overall length of this knife is 8.07 inches. The blade length is 3.54 inches. And the um, blade thickness is 0.13 inches. And this is this is thick. I, it seems thicker than, you know, they're pretty close to this buck. Now, the, and there's oil in there. That's nice. I like it. It's a liner lock, and it is on a, a ball bearing system, and it says it has a high strength liner. I can see it in there. It, I don't know what it is. It, it didn't say in the Amazon. It it's skeletonized on this side, but it doesn't look like on the liner lock side. It is. It says the pocket clip is stainless steel, and it's a thick pocket clip. You know, the knife, it, it, it's well-centered. It's well-centered in there. And it flips out really nice. Sometimes your liner locks, the centering sometimes is off on some. You hold it, it feels good. It's easy. There's a little indentation. It may be hard to see. There's a little indentation in here on this uh, liner lock. And it's, it's really effortless to disengage that. And put it in but it's locking solid it's locking real solid it's way over there I used to bang it on the table I'm not going to do all that I can, I can visually see in there you guys can see how that centered in there and I, I like it it's a nice little knife I was carrying that buck and, and I think I'm going to switch it out I picked purple on this. I don't have, I have a lot of black, green, uh, silver handled knives. Um, I don't have a lot of different colors and stuff, so I thought I would go with a, a different color. Moroccan Squirrel really likes purple, so I, I went ahead and got a, a pur the purple color. There was a lot of different options available on um, Amazon for that. So I thought, let's see here. You got the, it's, I, I've given you all the information, the stainless steel clip, and the blade's comfortable, that G10 handle. This is a satin finish on the blade. So, I like it. You can see the little manufacturing striations in there on the blade. I like it. You can see the reflections <laughs> in the light. It's... It's really dark and gloomy outside. We're in the midst of a big storm. I'm going to move aside my little cloth here and do some cutting on, on this strap material. And this is paracord. That's kind of a little push through. I'm going to do a little slice. I'm going to just... And that's pretty good. Now we'll do a my push through slice right there. And... Pull through, pretty good, pretty sharp. Do one more, just because. Shooting across the table here. That's why I moved my cloth, I didn't want to cut that up. I got some paper here where I had all my notes where I was getting all that information from. I like to see if I can get little tiny curly cues out of it. Yeah. But it's slicing real good on that. A lot of fun. All right. So that's a look at this uh, Petrified Fish David Chin 818 Purple Handle. I like it. Nice knife. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and be nice to each other.